All right, yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Q. I'm finally back again with another video for you guys. I have a new schedule picked out, so stay tuned. I will be uploading every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of every week from now on. And the reason for that is, if you notice, the scenery did change. I'm actually back home at my crib in Chicago. I'll probably be here for a little bit over the summer. I'm just visiting my parents, and then I'm back out to LA. But it'll be nice to be home for a little bit just so I could lock in, focus on the content. I want to get a lot more kits out for you guys and just a lot more stuff. So you'll probably be seeing my face a lot more. And I also wanted to let you guys know that future videos, honestly, it'll probably be the next video you see on this channel are actually going to be some vocal tutorials how I do my mixing. Because if you didn't know, when I was out in LA, I actually started engineering and mixing vocals for different artists that would pull up to our studio, the Split Mind Studio, and just the home studio that we had built, and then other sessions that they were renting out at different studios out in West Hollywood and places like that. But doing that definitely taught me a lot, so I figured I would use my knowledge and show you guys what I learned, just so when you guys actually are in a position like that, or if you just want to learn vocal mixing for any reason at all, You'll be able to do that and before we get into this video i want to let you guys know the description will hold all the links for anything you need from me my drumify link where you can get all my kits my instagram and my twitter which are the social medias that you should definitely follow me on because that's where i stay up to date the most and anything else that you guys might need will be down there below also the top pin to comment go ahead and check that out i usually say some stuff that i didn't think of in the video but without any further ado let's get into the reason why you actually clicked this video. guys my favorite contact plugin which is a guitar plugin and i'm gonna be showing you guys how i make melodies with this obviously we're doing like a pop inspired melody a pop inspired beat something you might hear like ian dior and trippy red on might even be like a sprinkle of juice world in there just kind of like pop like summer vibe all right so as you can see i already have this plugin pulled up right here which is from it's in contact it's actually made by a session guitarist it is called the electric sunburst deluxe and you guys if you guys watch my videos you've seen me use this before it's literally my favorite guitar plugin and I'm pretty much just using the default preset. If you open it up, it'll uh, come loaded with this clean R&B guitar. It just sounds like this. Pretty basic, but uh, what I noticed with this plugin is you can get some pretty realistic sounding guitars. So I already have this super, super simple chord progression picked out. It is in the scale of F minor. And all I did here was make a simple triad. So. If you were to go and make an F minor triad right here, like right here, of course I have scale highlighting on and you do this by going to uh, view right here and you scale highlighting and you just right click F and then go to your minor natural. Basically what I did here is I started at the root note, which is F, skip one note that is in the actual scale and go to the next one, another note and go to the next note and there is your triad. What I did here, this triad is I just brought this middle note up an octave. This is the same exact chord right here. And then I also just added a little top note right here, sharp six. And this chord sounds like this. Also, the BPM is set to 140 if you did not know already. And then to follow up with that chord, I made a G sharp chord. I did the same exact thing. I just went to this G sharp here, skipped one note in the scale another note in the scale right here and then just brought that middle note up an octave and then we just put actually we did not even put another top note on top so this is what both of these chords sound like together and all i did after that was just duplicate it over yeah super simple but it just it sounds great already the next thing we're going to do is i'm just going to go into my one shot kit that i'm working on should be out very, very soon. I'm going to grab this pad right here. All I'm going to do is copy and paste this to the pad. And I'm going to go into the envelope settings. And I'm going to set the envelope like this. Just so the actual sound only plays as long as the note is held. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that envelope. And I'm just going to bring the release up just a little bit. So it like it has that 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 little tail to the end of it. We're gonna route that to a mixer track, and now we're gonna go in and just mix these two together. They just sound a bit better. So I'm gonna solo out this guitar. We're gonna see if we can add some cool effects to this. So I'm gonna start out with this one of my favorite delay plugins called Delay Eternity. Also, I just realized that I'm recording on my ultra wide monitor, so it looks squished right now. Usually, I'm able to fix that, but um. 
completely forgot about that. So just be just be ready for the next video. But anyways, so this is a plugin right here, and uh, my favorite preset is this ping pong lo-fi. What I'm gonna do is just bring this dry wet knob down a little bit. Good, and we're gonna go ahead and add this plugin here. Where is at uh, sketch cassette two? Add this on here and just go through some presets well, like that. And then I'm just going to find a decent little reverb. Probably go with Valhalla. Valhalla Vintage Verb. And I'm just going to use the default preset. Bring that mix weight. Cool. And I like how this pad sounds already. But all I'm going to do is go into the piano roll. I'm copy these bass notes. Duplicate them down. You can do that by shift clicking on the note. And then just hit control down arrow to bring it down an octave. We're going to add a fruity EQ. Second preset right here. Got some of the low end and a lot of the high end. I'm going to add an imager. You can find imagers all over for free. I'm actually going to be using a free one, I believe. If I could ozone imager 2 right here. It's actually free on their website if you go uh, uh, Isotope's website. Just going to bring that width up. Stand out way in the stereo field. Then I'm going to pull out this plugin by Waves called Echo Cat, and we're going to go to this uh, at Corsi or something. It's Corsi. Cool, so now I'm going to go to my one-shot kit again, and we're going to be using this, this little bell right here. Super simple. All I'm going to do is go to Cut Itself. Then we're going to go to the piano roll, and I'm just going to make a counter melody. All I'm doing while I'm making this counter melody is I just want to find something. I kind of use, like, what I hear in my head to kind of go off that. But I'm just staying in the scale that we have highlighted because of uh, FL Studio highlighting scales. And we're just going to try and make something that sounds good with the current chord progression we have. And then it sounds super dry, so what we're going to do is just route this to a mixer track, and we're going to go to that mixer track, and we're going to solo it out, and just, I'm going to have to add a lot of effects to this, because this sounds super dry, and I want it to, I want it to be something that really stands out, sits in the background, and just like super like spacey. First thing we're going to add is just the Vihala, the Valhalla Vintage Verb. And honestly, I'm going to keep that mix pretty high, because I like how that sounds already. I'm also going to go to the Delay Eternity plugin, and instead of using that ping pong preset that I used before, we're going to just use the default and bring that dry wet knob down a lot. Then to act as a like stereo imager almost, we're going to go to... Actually, first we're going to add halftime, and I'm going to bring this... Do this by using your scroll wheel, but I just brought it up to the top of the effect box right here. And I'm just going to bring this mix down a little bit, just to add some, like, bass to it. There we go. Yeah, I like this a lot. So, like I said before, uh, we're going to be using this as kind of like a stereo imager. We're going to go to this plugin called Effect Rack. And there should be a plugin called Pool. And then what we're going to do here is just click this little settings knob. And we're going to go. We're going to be using this preset right here called Hard Bounce MIDI, and I just brought the smoothing from hard to soft. Perfect, so I like that, so let's hear it all together. Cool, so now we're going to try and find like one more sound. We're getting close to a finished melody here. I'm going to pull up Analog Lab and just see if we can find like some kind of like texture sound just to really hit on like the one. All right, so I got this sound right here called Arpeggiated Crystals. It's from this bank right here. And uh, it sounds like this. We're just going to see what we can do. I'm pretty much just going to have it hit just on the one, just an F, and see how it sounds with everything. Together. Oh, yeah, so I like that a lot. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that completely dry, and then we're just going to go ahead and add a bass. So I'm going to bring up Analog Lab again. I'm just going to be using this. De I'm pretty sure it's the default preset. It's called Jazz Bass. And then we're just going to follow the root note. F2 sharp. Hit control L on my keyboard. That's perfect right there. So what I'm going to do here is split by channel. 
go ahead and bring this into playlist. I'm gonna duplicate that over like four times and then, all right, so first thing I'm gonna do when I go to do the drums is just make a new pattern here. And we're gonna drag that into the playlist and I just have this repeating for eight bars. And then we're just gonna make a super simple bouncy pop beat. So I'm gonna start out with a clap. I'm gonna go into my drum kit here. I'm using this one called Money. I'm just gonna use this default MIDI pattern just to apply this flat pattern. Cool, and then we're gonna go ahead and add a hi-hat. We're just gonna add some rolls in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna change it to one sixth step. And I'm pretty much just gonna do some super simple rolls. And we'll just duplicate that over. And now we're gonna go ahead and start with an open it. Let's see if we can do like a little snare pattern. Like this one. This one. Right, so I like this bounce for now. So what I'm gonna do is just get started with the 808. I'm gonna be using this one for my kit called Spin Cycle. And for the 808, I just hit cut itself. We're gonna turn it up a lot. And then we're gonna go into the envelope settings and just make it a square. Then we'll go to the piano roll and we're just gonna find a bounce, but we're gonna easily just put as it is, follow the root note, which is just F and G sharp. <laughs> kick on top of the 808 we'll probably use this one right here for my kick called steel probably pretty much just follow the 808 pattern with the kick but maybe add a little bit more in between the 808 hits just so we could have like a different type of bounce <laughs> i'm just gonna route all of these drums to uh mixture track we'll shift l Yeah, so that's pretty much the whole beat right there. I mean, like I said, we're shooting for something super simple here. And a lot of times with these pop beats, you won't you don't want to do too much, especially with the melody, because you kind of want to let because you want to let the artist go real melodic with these. Cause I mean a lot of times with Ian Dior, you'll notice that these chord progressions usually only have like two chords, maybe three, but everything's pretty simple. Sometimes the drums get a little crazy, but for the most part, everything's super simple, maybe 10 sounds at most. But yeah, realistically, the only thing I would do this beat next would be arrange it i'm not going to show you guys that because you've seen it before if you do want to see it let me know in the comments below but that's all i got for you guys right now if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button like the video if you did learn anything or if you enjoyed the video at all take the headphones off but yeah like i said once i get in the hang of things a lot more will start coming i will be uploading monday wednesday and friday so stay tuned for that that's all i got for you guys if you did enjoy this beat hit that like button and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out